fed and armed, basically. And we're focusing 100% military tech. This is a bad way to tech, actually. Because you're completely leaving behind... Well, all other techs that are needed. But... Currently, if you are in a war... If you don't survive the war... They won't matter. If you have the best tech in the world. Kind of like Germany. They lost the war, so it didn't matter that they had the best rocket tech and all that other nice stuff. They lost the war, and the allies took all their industry and tech and cool stuff. Um, home finally. Oh, welcome home. <laughs> like th This guy is amazing. He just started working at Paradox, and he has two and a half hour to work. And he still gets in earlier than me. And I have 45-50 minutes. Dedication. Dedication. It kind of feels like when, when I start at Paradox, I come in way too early all the time. All oh, right. <laughs> and now you're a moderator. Welcome to the mod club. And uh, don't say senpai, come on. No senpai from you. I know you, that's just weird. <laughs> Dedication. Dedication. Oh, you think about the Sabaton song? Yeah, I was also kind of thinking about that. <laughs> oh no, not another Paradox member. <laughs> That's my first Paradox mod. Um, I think my plan of just spearheading and surrounding the entire force of Soviet is actually working. They're trying to gra grab a new defense over here, but it doesn't seem to be working for them. They are gathering up quite a nice defense, but in this area I am superior, like this area. Um, yeah, let's just continue building military factories. Hopefully, th I'm just... Japan, hold here. Keep them busy right here. And then the winged hussars arrived, <laughs> coming down the mountainside. <laughs> I was definitely thinking of that song. Nice that you actually <laughs> guessed it. Uh, let's see, push in, push in, everything is going completely fine. Um, so let's hold again, let's stop the push and let's people regroup. This is basically the best way I found out to regroup, and now this is getting dangerous. So guys, um, we are gonna push and start helping Japan a bit more. They're falling back this way, and that is really bad, since we won't be able to spearhead. Okay, now I'm gonna do something crazy, and see if it works. You're gonna go a bit farther to the right, you're gonna go a bit more, and you're gonna go right there. I need to cut it off. I need to completely shut them down. And I need to do it now. Uh, add the units to the line. Good, we're still having enough equipment, but we're losing tons and tons of infantry equipment. So we're actually gonna do this. All new factories are gonna start producing shit. We're infantry weapons level 1. So we actually yeah, have some weapons and guns for our units later. Um, all industry tech shall be delayed until further noticed. And yeah, I need to cut them off. But I don't think it actually will work, unfortunately. Uh, like that, like that. Push in there, go in, attack him there. Good, one surround. Yes, completely kill off that opponent. Let's see. Our losses are only 43,000, while the Soviet losses is at 400,000. Mostly not from me, that I know. But Japan is, I don't know, for some reason, slowly, slowly moving to the west. Probably because they know that all victory points over here. Um, yeah, they're definitely not. Why, why Japan is... Why Japan is getting this, that I don't know, actually. I knew because Kors 
of course, but why Japan is getting that thing, that's beyond me. Uh, let's see. No Daniel. No Daniel is better than Sabaton. What? <laughs> Embrace Endless Ocean. Thank you for follow. Yeah, I think me adding that small sound, hopefully it's not way too annoying, it's much better. I instantly see when, or see and hear when someone follows and I just instantly thank them. Instead of gathering this huge list of people and I have to sit for 5 minutes saying thank you to everyone. This is much better for me at least. Okay, it seems like I will do not one of these huge moves, but I will control them manually by pushing them a bit faster forward. Maybe this one is like bugged and not on push as hard as you can mode. Um, let's go this and that way, nice. Let's push, push, and we're gonna need a lot of manual micro if we're actually gonna have a small snowball chance in hell of winning this. Because Japan is falling quicker than I anticipated. Uh, everything is here. We kind of don't have anything left to tech. Oof. We are kind of screwed, but I think I still might pull out. Can we offer peace? No. How is war going? It's 1% in the aggressor of the... F <laughs> So it's a Japanese Soviet war and we're they're winning by 1%. Maybe if I would have joined them instantly, it would have looked way way different. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you don't have to post the entire Sabaton songs now in the chat. People can't say anything if you just post massive cross. So please stop with that. Even though I I know all the songs <laughs> by heart probably. Okay, most parts of the song. Um Let's see, push in a bit quicker, please. We have no time to explain to the men what we're doing or why. You just need to push in. Let's go in all the way there. Actually, let's go this way with you. And... No, wait. Yeah, you, good. You're gonna push straight. No, you're not gonna push straight there. You're gonna push into him. You're gonna go here, you are gonna go right there, you are gonna help him, you are gonna attack straight here. No, you are gonna attack straight there, you're gonna attack there. Oh, you were instantly routed. That's not good. There, it seems like they have some really strong divisions. Soviet Union. <laughs> like 90% of the people of all this side hills are Bavarian for some reason. So German skills are eh. What? <laughs> I don't get what... Some of you are saying Sabaton text, some of you are talking about something I have no clue about, and some of you are just chilling in chat, relaxing for a nice heavy micro game from me. I guess I have all kinds of viewers. And... What the hell are you doing? Oh, right, right, this bug. I actually were reporting that today. So that's kind of sad, unfortunately, um, that it's happening in my game. It's all reported and already starting to work on, but stuff happens. How, is in, have, have, how have my day been going so far? Asks, oh the scand <laughs> Scandium Lorene Nitrogen. See, uh, my day has been going quite, qu quite well, quite well. Um, not a lot to do today at work, but it was still a nice, peaceful day. And now we have allowed Soviet to regroup, and we are pretty much doomed, doomed to fail. And now let's drag down this by half and just hopefully we can start producing infantry weapons. Because some weapons are always better than none. And yeah, Soviet is just way too strong. Germany, we would kinda need your help. Your help to just push to the right and save us, but I see none 
of that happening. So we might actually just lose. And that would be kind of a nice change. <laughs> nice change of losing. Yeah, finally have the AI kick my poo out of me. <laughs> um, but I'm never gonna just surrender and let them win. Hmm. Yeah, where we are pushing, we are breaking them really, really quickly. But otherwise than that, they are pushing in quickly. They are pushing in really, really quickly. I think we're gonna just grab the entire front now of Japan with our 65 divisions. That's not even close to enough. This is this is this is looking really really bad. Japan's border are gonna look weird, yeah. This is looking really bad. Let's see, we're producing fifty three at least, but yeah, this is not working. We did a really good, nice push. We came in very, very far into the nation, but now we're kind of grinding to a halt. Maybe if I still cut them off, it will be possible to win, but I don't think that will be possible. Construction, yeah, we got it now, but we do not have the forces to be able to stop them. Actually, don't pull that all the way here, just all the way there. So when we finally lose, we can make a desperate defense here and just defend my nation at least. While they're losing here. Um, Q's Illuminati music. And thank you for the follow, Penguin Gaming 123. You're kind of needed right here. Let's see, can I push in and break them? Stop, stop attacking. Yeah, now we kind of... We need to be forcing forcefully. We will be losing a lot of battles, but we have no other choice. And now we're losing a lot of equipment all really, really quickly. And the tank guns, you're not needed anymore. We need more equipment. We need more infantry equipment, and we need it yesterday. Let's see. Removing one here, removing one guy there would severely reduce the amount we need uh, and we're gonna do it and um, hopefully get some units out of it or maybe all of that will just be to reinforcement be reinforcements yeah most of it actually was sad to see I was hoping that we're gonna get some equipment we're still missing 2.7 then we can at least we can drag this one down a bit you just continue producing more weapons since that is what we need. Dedication, dedication. Support battalions, no need. Oh, right, right, right. Awesome. I completely forgot that we could actually remove it now completely. While you should be start producing battleships. <laughs> uh, otherwise, in that, this, no, no. Let's get motorized just because we can. We are... Are we doing any progress right here? That's a city at least. How is Soviet surrender progress looking? <laughs> yeah. Not the best one. We really need to cut them off completely. And only if that happens, and all of these lose all their supply, which I don't think they will, we might have a chance of winning. Uh, we need it yesterday. England is hard. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Just every tech that can possibly f improve our chances is needed now. 
Can you move your units from the Japanese Soviet border? Could you get few more units front there just by shortening the front? I could, but then I'm afraid that the Japanese forces here would fall and just drag back. So I'm planning to like start my counter movement here to block off this river and just have the Chinese defense work against the Soviets. Because here's my land. I kind of need it. And here's four units actually. Um, Yeah, let's actually place... Give them a couple of provinces right here to defend. Uh, or wait, behind that river, of course. That's four, five, six, seven provinces. Seven provinces that have four units. Yeah, as you can see, the math is not going to work. Um, I don't have units to spare. That's a problem. I don't have units, I don't have weapons, I don't have... Okay, this was an excellent move actually to declare this war. Now this game became actually really interesting. Instead of delaying, waiting on to the last moment, we're gonna defend our Asian brothers. Or I don't know if that would complete heresy that I say it now. Yes, I don't... Whatever. Okay. We're doing all of these. We have the maximum tech here. Yes, good. We're still using artillery. We won't be able to produce new artillery. We need to have the thing we have right now. Is there anything that can help us? We have all the decryption techs. That's research time, but it won't really help us. Let's do excavation. Maybe we get some resources that might help us. Everything is just to be able to squeeze out every ounce of power and might we might have yeah i have six million manpower but i don't have the weapons guns are nothing if no one can control them the same with weapons weapons are nothing if you have no one to shoot them i'm becoming really deep during this session during this Making all kinds of cool quotes that could have been used in history. Maybe they are used, and I'm just stealing it without knowing it. Hmm. Otherwise, we have pushed in up exactly how I wanted. A bit too much to the left flank, but they had no units here. If they just would have a bit stronger defense down here, our push would have been more upwards. Upwards, and... That would have helped. Um, so please push in. That That's not going to work. So let's pull back before we lose too much organization. You're going to help there. And you're going to push forward even though you might backstab me. But that's why you're going straight forward. You're going to up here. Let's actually pull them. Like let, force them to move a bit more up. Or to the north. And actually you're going to need to force attack here. Um, you are going straight in there. Daniel, a professional coat maker. <laughs> I would love that job. As uh, said, it's Pedro. <laughs> and now, finally, we have reached the end of this. Uh, you should go up here and surround that unit. At least, okay, you go this way. And you are just defending. Yeah, we're winning that. And now I at least have night vision. And actually, that might be a winning move. If France drags out their units... Oh, wait. Italy has completely fallen. Yeah, Germany is doomed. They're doomed! Hmm. Yeah, excavation. Continue with that. All kinds of industry tools. Um, wait. They're pushing back. They are really pushing back now. I pulled this line because they had... Ooh, nice. Oh, Soviet has completely left this border now. They moved around all their forces to this here, and then they pulled back most of the forces over here. How many units do they have now? Well, it's <laughs> still looking bad, but maybe they have completely wasted all their industry. Or like, look at it. Look at it this way. They can have a very, very, very large army and and with a decent industry. That's kind of Soviet Union. A decent industry can't sustain a very large army. 
So if they have wasted all the equipment, they have a very large army without any men, without, they have men, but no weapons. While I am the diff opposite side of that. I have few men, but everyone has a gun that can shoot, or basically everyone. Hmm. Uh, wars may be fought with weapons, but they are won by men. It's spirit of men who follow, and the man who leads that gains the victory. That's from George S. Patton. I would kind of really agree with that quote, except... Wars may be fought with weapons, but they are won by men. I don't agree with that. They're won by men with weapons. That's what you have to say. What the hell happened? Did Soviet Union declare war on Afghanistan? I think so. More men for me. And Iraq also joined. All right. Um, Soviet Union. I, I, AI is probably thinking they have a massive, massive advantage in this war because they have so many more men and probably more industry than me. But yeah, guns do, don't kill people. People do with guns. Don't quote. Find the occasion to use that emote. <laughs> well, I'm not quoting anyone. I'm doing my own. Because there are no... I don't know. There are very few quote, quotes one can agree with to 100%. <laughs> and giraffes are heartless creature. Okay, that one I agree with to 100%. <sighs> Having a gun might be the second amendment in the USA, but it's the first amendment in the Daniel country. <laughs> no. In my country, no one would be allowed to have guns except the police. Because if the police have all the weapons, basically, well, it might be, it may cause chances for the state to abuse their power if only the police have weapons. But I would say that's better than having guns at every corner and letting criminals get them very easily. Uh, define real quotes. <laughs> uh, First Amendment in Daniel Republic should be that everyone spend a day a week working in the South Mines. That sounds better. That sounds much better. Do we really need to inflate the soul culture even more? Alright, we are very very soon reaching our final goal. Of completely shutting down the Soviet Eastern Front. But, oh, right, right, wait, no. I have no clue why they get the state until we have control over it completely and then it's transferred to me. I will have to check with someone at work. Death is the solution to all problems. No man, no problems. Joseph Stalin. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible way. That's a horrible quote. Horrible quote. So maybe I should call yes, these episodes quote maniac. Uh, let's see. Why are giraffes heartless creature? Um, it's a sp special picture. I'm actually gonna take some, a uh, very short time to just find the picture and then post it in the chat so we have it. And that is why giraffes are heartless creatures. And put everything forward again, and that's nice. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we have a town, a city, a city, a city. A city, a city, a city. That's what, what I was thinking about. And you just want to send your entire army as expeditionary forces to me. Iran. Is it that wanna do that? Is this your troops? Yeah. But that means I would have to protect your border too. Okay. We can accept it, but here. Okay, you still have some troops. Nice. Then all the troops you gave me. 
is gonna make a new front. It's gonna be all there. Oh wait, wait. Accidental. That. Line the 20 troops over there, but where are the 20 other troops? I have no clue actually where they are. So I'm gonna do this way. This is basically the best way of dealing with expeditionary forces. Yeah, all of you are gonna get assigned to my line. While you continue pushing north. The king of the north! Don't believe any quotes on the internet. Abraham Lincoln, 1928. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, that's a great quote. And a true qu truer qu quote can never be found on the internet. And yeah, uh, let's actually push down and grab this. No, wait, that's a bit too far. That's, that's the right push. And equipment is looking better. See, we're getting somewhere now. And you are producing not military factories, which is heresy. I've actually started to check out the Warhammer Lord now. I've been starting to go through all the Horus Heresy books. I've been going through first and the second of the half, half one. As half of the second one is also done for me. And it's really interesting and it's kind of awesome to finally get into that. It's just so much lore. So I asked my boss, who is a big Warhammer fan, to just, where should I begin? And he said, check out, check, check out those books. So yeah, finally get into that. I would probably never get into the game itself. I just think the lore so seems really, really interesting. And yeah, that's what I'm going with. And now Germany is slowly getting pushed back here. Yeah. Uh, you can just push forward while some of the troops. Wait, wait. I should take some of these troops. Let's just. A new commander. Half of you assigned there. Just so we can hold them off as long as possible. Uh, Japan is having most of your troops spread out over the entire border. Oh! That must be why the Japanese border has been such a mess. For a long time i was pushing so quickly they never had a chance to reorganize because they wanted to cover the entire border Oof. Uh, i work with ddr jake i work with ddr jake <laughs> oh that um, good one good one but ddr jake is a nice person he's a nice person don't believe what you see on the stream he's actually kind of nice for being irish Wars may be fought by people and weapons, but they are won by Daniel, some guy 3,000 years before Christ. <laughs> that you may quote me on. Uh, let's begin the anti-tank production facilities again. Oh wait, actually I don't need to start with them anymore. Though I, can't, I can start producing the artillery facilities again. Because when we start adding, adding up the artillery lost before, we're gonna need new ones. Sick burn. Boom. Let's quote that. <laughs> um, we actually stuck. The AI doesn't seem <laughs> like they want to be surrounded. So they're pushing a lot of troops here right now. And we need to cut them off. All of them. Wipe them out. All of them. Uh, DDR Jake is actually quite a nice person despite being I Irish. Daniel 2016. <laughs> oh god. Well, he gave me one in Diplo score, so he can just go to hell. And uh, let's not attack there, please. Oh wait, I still have to wait a couple hours before I can retreat. Well, you go up here. You attack that position. No, you do not. But you free attack that position. Yeah, that's working. <sighs> Jake is Scottish. He gave you a free lol. No, he gave me one in diplomacy. He gave me one in diplomacy. I think I'm done quite well. I've been attacked twice by a much stronger enemy and I still own my territory. 
I would say that 